What's up, everybody, and welcome in to another edition of The Sit Down. As always, if you enjoy this live video, please make sure you hit that like button and let me know what you think of today's discussion in the comment section below. If you're watching this currently on YouTube, welcome in. Please say hello in the chat box to the right of the show. If you're new around here, you just haven't done it yet, or living on a rock and seeing this video for the first time, I don't know what you're waiting for. Hit that subscribe button below now so you never miss another sit down video what's up everybody and welcome in it is sunday and we are here for a special sunday sit down i was presented with an end to an interesting character we're going to speak to him today recently he was friends maybe had a little dinner with joy molino and now we've heard molino time and time again take shots at our guest tonight so i figured let's go to him and see what exactly is going on here um, he's an actor. He's a content creator. He has over 300,000 followers on Instagram, 125-ish thousand on TikTok. And you've probably seen some of his content over the last year or so. Let's bring him in. His name is Joe, and he goes by Big Joe Gambino. He joins me live. Joe, how are you? Good. How are you? Doing well. Thank you for coming on, man. I appreciate it. Um, you've been... Um, a guy a lot of people have seen. Before we get into the Molino stuff and, and whether or not you have a beef, what exactly is going on here, tell people a little bit about who you are. Who am I? I'm an entertainer. I'm, you know, trying to be an actor. Um, basically, you know, started a couple of videos a couple of years ago on uh, Instagram and on TikTok, and it blew up, and people started to notice me. And uh, here I am talking to you. So you were in Gravesend, or you're going to be in Gravesend, is that correct? I was never in Gravesend. What happened was I, I had met William DeMeo last year. Um, a couple of the cast members became very friendly with them and um, supposedly supposed to be in season three. Let's see what happens. So they, they liked me. They liked my character. I did a commercial for members only. I did a commercial for their jackets. I was in the commercial with a bunch of the Gravesend crew. So that one went pretty well, if you've ever seen that commercial. Yeah, I have. Yeah. So, um, so you, you, you obviously are just starting as an actor. You, you kind of have this persona. Um, as we can see, your name is not Joe Gambino. Right? No, I'm not, I'm not trying to hide that. I'm on Instagram. It is. My name is Joseph Pepe. Right. You know, but uh, I go by Big Joe Gambino because that's my handle. That's my stage name. And there's a reason why I use that name. Um, I won't disclose that, but uh, I'll just tell you this. I'm allowed to use it. So what do, you, what do you mean by that? What I mean by that is that I've been using that as a, as a as a handle for a very long time. You know, I have my own, you know, I made my own company. My own company is it's called Big Joe Gambino Enterprises. It's not okay. something I'm trying to hide. It's not trying to something I'm trying to change my name. You know, everybody knows if they really know me, they know my real last name. But I'm not trying to change my last name. I use that as a handle. I'm pretty sure Skitty Joe is not Skitty Joe. I'm pretty sure a little snuff ain't little snuff. You know, right. the handles. So people are, are they're not understanding the difference. I'm not trying to hide mean? who I am. So I, I let me ask you, are you, is, is your goal, and you're trying to kind of be like a character actor, right? And it's generally, you know, Italian or maybe someone that could be, per, you know, some sort of gangster in like a film. Is that kind of what you're looking to, to put out there? Well, it's not what I'm looking for. It's actually what I'm doing. Uh, I have the look, obviously. People know I have the look. I have the, right. the attitude, the charisma. But I've been having that since I was a kid. And it's now it's now it's paying off. See, everybody used to tell me when I was younger, hey, Joe, you should be in the movies. You, you look like a gangster. You talk like a gangster. You make a lot of money. I always brushed it off until I became, until I discovered your social media. Because let me tell you something. Before before TikTok and, and, and everything else, I didn't have social media. I'm new to the scene. So this is all brand new to me. It's been a couple of years, but it's still brand new to me. So that's where I'm going. So, yeah, I have the look, and that's where I'm going for you're from Queens, right? The story, story of Queens. Okay. And listen, look, Joe, I, I don't, I don't know you that well. I've seen you a lot on the internet, on TikTok. Look, right. if anybody doesn't say you look like a gangster, I don't know what they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. You definitely have the look. Obviously, that's a hot thing right now. People are attracted to kind of the guy that you are. They like the, the videos. They like the way you look. They like the vibes. And look, as you know, mob stuff's always interesting. But you have never said you're not in the mafia. You don't do any you know, illegal things, as far as I know. Um, you never said you were a gangster. You no. just hear trying to be an actor. 
That, that's all. That's all it is. At the end of the day, my brother, it's entertainment. From you know, for me and, and what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to say that I'm a real Gambino. I'm not trying to say that you know I'm I'm I'm, I'm in the life because I'm not. Wow. But uh, obviously, some people um, think different. Let me ask you, and I want to get into that in just one second. But I just want to go back to one thing you said. You, you made a, you you mentioned you use the word Gambino or the name Gambino for a reason. Why can't you disclose why? Well, I use the list. I use, I use the name because uh, you know what? I'll tell you the story. Okay. When yeah. I was young, when I was younger, okay, you know, obviously you couldn't get into certain clubs and uh, bars, you know, if you're not 21. So I had made a fake ID years ago because I had friends that had the last name Gambino, not people that were in the Gambino family. The last name, yeah. let me tell you something, the last name Gambino, Pretty if you look it up, yeah. there's about 7,000 in the United uh -huh. States. There's a lot uh -huh. of Gambinos there. Sure. So I used to hang around with guys, you know, that had that last name and I used that name to make an ID. And this goes back to when I was 16 years old. And, and it was kind of a good luck thing when I started making my handle. And that's why I use it. And let me tell you something, there's rappers out there they use Gambino. Are we are we questioning them? You know, I mean. No, I, listen, Joe. Th this genre, there's a lot of people that are going to question everything. Um, again, you've never come out and said you were a gangster. You're just you're just a guy who, again, looks a certain way, and you're generally going to be offered those sorts of parts. You've created a content, uh, you know, creation kind of thing with it, and it's worked out. You've been in all sorts of videos. You've been on Growing Up Italian. You've been with Little Mo and. Those are Kujin and all these different guys, right? And I've been around, I've been around the block. I've been doing a few things. Not only have I been doing things with when it comes to movies, I've been doing commercials for the for for, for Kia Sorento. Uh, I, I'm sorry for for Kia. I uh, I drove I drove a uh, Kia Sorento, so I did I you know people noticed me and I started actually doing videos for them. I, and then that's worked out pretty well. That's actually pretty cool. I mean, that's big level stuff. You're doing you're doing commercials for car companies, man. You know, yeah. that's yeah. that's pretty dope, man. Listen, it's not easy to build a following, and most of the people that have an issue with what you're doing can't do it themselves. I want to get into um, your relationship or knowing Jerry Molina at one point. Okay. You. Did some stuff with Gravesend. Right. I knew uh, you went to the saloon I mean, at one point. Met him? Is that what you want to do? Yeah, you went to the saloon at one point, right? You met yeah, him. I, I was invited to a dinner with a few cast members of the Gravesend. They invited me to a dinner to meet Joey Molino. And, you know, I didn't know him before that. I mean, I heard of him. Of course, who hasn't heard of him? Um, but uh, I went to the dinner, you know, with a group of actors. And... Uh, he was a he was a gentleman, you know. I mean, he, he had, I took a liking to me. I took a liking to him. Uh, it was a nice establishment, and uh, and I left I left that night as friends with him. You know, we, we kept in touch. We talked about different kind of sports and stuff. We used to DM each other, you know. And it all went downhill, obviously. You know, when I did that project with Fred Chasey. Now, what exactly you you did some sort of like commercial? What what was that exactly? Okay, what I did with Michael Franchisi was it was a it was a skit. By this guy named Jesse James. He's a big uh, YouTuber. I don't, I'm sure you heard of him. He has over yeah, like a million yeah. subscribers. Yeah, he had reached out to me and my my uh, my management, whatever, wanted me to do a a scene, a skit, like a, a mob mob skit, a scene that we did. Uh, Michael Fritch had to be in it, and um, a few other people were in it too. So when I did the skit, I knew I knew who Franchisi was, not to the level. I'm gonna I'm gonna explain to you. I'm gonna I wanted this to be known. I wasn't. I didn't know that Franchese was on the level, like Gravano. Like you know, if I did something with Gravano, I would, I, I would the red light would come up right away. But Franchese, I, I know who he was, but I didn't think it was as bad, you know, as 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 doing something like Mr. Gravano. So I did it, and it was a mistake. And you know what? Let me tell you, I I told everybody. I, I said, you know, I I, I gave I just gave Joey a call. I said, Joe. I said, you know, it was this was a project. This is not because I'm friends with him. Not that I, you know, condone what he's done. You know, but I, I, I told him, I says, I'm not doing it. He goes, yeah, he's doing it for money. I says, it was a paid gig. You know, I'm just starting out as, as you know, an actor and doing this. This is all new to me. So, you know, they want to say this and that. I associate with rats. Because ever since I did that, it was, it was going crazy. People sending me rat emojis saying, you're a rat, this and that. You know, I, I'm, I'm an actor. This was an act. This was all acting, entertainment, you know. But from then, but from then, I did not. Joe, let me ask you. Sure. You're not in the streets. Why, why do you? You don't care. Like, why? Why do you feel you owe them an explanation? You don't work for that. I don't feel like I owe anybody an explanation. I could do. I can do whatever I want because I'm not a. Sure. I'm not a, I'm not a made guy. I'm not in the mob. 
<laughs> but you know what? I do. I respect. I respect certain people's opinion about what the franchise has done. And and since the skit, since all this was going on, I looked into it deeper of what he's done. And he wasn't. He wasn't really nice. He put some people. You know, some he did some bad things. So you know what? I don't want to be associated with that because I really don't believe in that. I don't. So, so you regret. That's you why, regret doing that. Yeah, I do. I I, didn't, I I do regret that I uh, participated in the skit with him. Yes. But you know, I can't like you know. It's not like I'm apologizing to, for doing something. That I, I you know, I want people to know that you know what? I don't approve of what he's done. Okay. And that makes sense. You shouldn't. You didn't live his life, though, and you don't really owe anyone an explanation anything. So Joey's been going around, you know, calling you out, saying stuff about you. Um, Breaking my balls. Right. Do you think – so you don't have a beef with him. He just has an issue with what you did. I never had a problem with Joe. In fact, I, I called him up several times to try to – see, the whole how, – how it started. When he found out I did it, he, he went nuts. He goes, oh, you do things for money. What kind of – We got you, Joe. You there? The Joy's Alive shows, folks. We'll get Joe back here in just a second. Uh, I'll bring him off for a second. We'll get him right back on. So, yeah, I wanted to bring Joe on because he has been targeted a few times by Joey, and I think it's something where people kind of have seen Joe around, and it's important that we kind of maybe address where he's coming from and all this. Joe's not a gangster. He's not a criminal. Uh, he doesn't do anything in the streets. He's just an actor. Obviously, we all get typecasted sometimes. Uh, let's bring Joe back here. Joe, we got you? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's, uh, oh, all good. All good. I, I think I was just kind of saying, we all get typecasted in certain things. You know, someone mentioned in the comments, you know, John Wayne, the actor, his name wasn't John Wayne, right? A lot of actors have changed their names, right? Um, you're under the microscope just because of some of the things you've done. But you, as you said, you're not like me. You don't sit here and, like, look into these people. Uh, you're not like some of these chat people where you don't know much about these guys. You've heard about them, but you don't really know the scale of what they've done. Um, I think you were you know, cool in saying that you probably wouldn't do it again. If Sammy Ravano called you, you probably you wouldn't work with him, would you? Absolutely. Um, Absolutely yeah. not. <laughs> so you have a certain kind of you know ethic, right? Um, I've said before, I don't give a shit if people rat. I'm not a criminal. I don't care. I don't live their life. It means nothing to me. Um, there are certain people that have different opinions. I don't know that I would do it if I was in that cohort, but it is what it is. Um, we all are who we are. Um, I don't think you've ever gotten away from who you are. You've never said you were a gangster. You're a New York guy. Maybe you're a little typecasted. Let me ask you, do you want to actually play, If you, let's say you do get into heavy acting, do, do you want to play other roles too? Or is it just kind of one oh, role? Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. In, fa in fact, I have I have a couple things lined up that uh, – have nothing to do with um, you know being Italian or being a mobster or stuff like that. Absolutely, absolutely. So you kind of want to put it on record. You have no beef. Um, you definitely regret doing the show uh, or the little commercial with Michael. Um, did, did it was it successful that commercial? Did did it do well or according according to YouTube and the, and and the the views it got, I guess it did. It, and other other people put it on their website. You know, a lot of people thought it was stupid. A lot of people thought it was. Uh, was corny and a lot of people thought it was great. It, 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 there's different views on it, you know. I mean, listen, to me it was it was a skit. I thought I thought it came out pretty well. Unfortunately, there was certain people in there that you know pissed people off. That's the whole thing. Otherwise, it was pretty pretty good. So you don't plan on doing anything again with individuals that have cooperated? No, no. Okay, okay. And this is interesting, Joe, because I will say, I mean, for a guy that's not in the streets, you do have an interesting thought on like. Why does it matter? Like, if they pay you, who cares? Like, well, you know what? I think it's, it's it's more like you know. Listen, hey, I'm not an I'm not I, like I said. You said I'm not a gangster. I'm not, yeah. Of course, you know. Listen, coming from an old school neighborhood and, and you know, being around certain people, you don't want to you don't want to have that kind of reputation. I guess. I mean, that's my opinion. You know, because yeah. I, I I do know a lot of people, and a lot of people that either side, the good or the bad side, or the the, the legal, or the illegal side. I, I know a lot of people. So you know what? Why uh, why put yourself out there? So you know, bad things could happen to you. You know, or association. That's that's why I figure. You know what? Let me just stay away from it. If that makes sense to you, does that make sense to you? Yeah, no, it does. Um, one other question I have. Um, you mentioned you you, you kind of talked about it at one point you can go down any street, you have no issues with anybody. Um. And you also mentioned, like, you got permission to use the name. 
Are you insinuating that you spoke to people in the street? No, <laughs> not at all. That that video also see a lot of the videos I do. A lot of people take it literally. It, it, it this it was it was it was a joke. Like you know, this is how I, I you know you have I a wasn't good time. saying that you know. Listen, I'm a street guy. I I can walk on any fucking street. I wasn't. I don't. I don't. I don't think I'm banned from any type of street. You know. But people take things so seriously, you know, and they don't know I'm fucking. Joe, so I gotta ask though. If a beautiful woman came up to you, right? You're, uh -huh. Let's say you're in a club and a beautiful woman comes up to you and she goes, Hey, you know, I love street guys. You look like you're in the mob. You've probably said once or twice, maybe you were, right? When it comes to that, maybe yes. <laughs> All good. Listen, a lot of people, a lot of people agree. You know, you're just an actor. Give you give give you a break. Um Okay. Well, again, I, I have to think. Uh, you know, maybe maybe Joey will see this, and, and maybe you'll be back in his good graces, per se. Well, let me get back to Joey real quick. You know, I did reach out to him as a friend because I thought we were friends. Nobody left it off as friends. But he, when he when he found that I did that, he went all nuts, and then he he blocks me, and then he, his little buddy over there, who I had dinner with, his uncle, who was a very respectful guy, and I had a lot of respect for him. All right, started turning on me, and and. And I'm saying all this stupid shit. He, he's a little kid. In my eyes, he's a little kid. He shouldn't be talking so tough because, you know, all he's doing is a podcast with, you know, Joey. And he thinks he's uh, the next fucking underboss of uh, the fight family. You're, you know? you're talking about Joe's you're, stuff. You're yeah. saying he's a little big in his britches. I call, I call him little dick. Okay. Seems like you have more of an issue with him than anybody. No, no well, you know, because you know what? I was like, you know, I... I did. I, he, he's disrespectful. He's disrespectful. Not, you not, mean, not disrespectful. You're saying he's pretending to be somebody he's not. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. Interesting. Okay. Well, that, I, I mean, at least from where you're coming from. Okay. You're just kind of saying he's just, you're just a host, you know, know your role. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're not a, you're not a tough guy, you know? And I'm not saying that I am either, but you know, you don't, don't come across like, you know, you know, uh, you did this, you did, you saw what he said about me, right? But yeah, Joey, he's wants so to, Joey wants to break my balls, you know, yeah, whatever. But, you know, it's like fucking, why are you putting your two cents in? You don't even know who I am. You're like, you don't even know. Yeah. Don't, please. Me yeah, I, I, I definitely understand where you're coming from. I, I Listen, I've said on record, I thought what they did to you was a little out of control. They've attacked a few actors, Chas Palm and Terry. Uh, they, they've attacked a couple of guys because of some of the, the, the company they keep. Um, they've attacked me. They won't interview with me. He won't interview with me because I've interviewed informants. Uh, I'm a journalist. Though. I'm not here to make friends with people. I'm here to just tell the story, really. Well, let me touch base on that. I never met Charles Pemetary before. I'm really hoping to meet him eventually. But uh, I'll tell you something. A lot of people are hypocritical. This I will not mention any names. But there's people around me that uh, know exactly what uh, Charles Pemetary did with Franchisi. And they also, you know, they attend his, his shows. You know, they, 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 they don't bust his balls. On, 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 on the internet, like they did mine. Okay, I don't want to put myself on the status or the level of, of Chester Materi. He's a great actor. He's been around a long time, and I just started out. But that's a little hypocritical in my eyes. I mean, what do you, what do you think? Yeah, listen, I think a lot of people pick and choose, you know, who's what and who's what. Oh, that, that's uh, for sure. Yeah, I, listen, I, I've talked about the flip-flopping stuff a lot. Um, there's a lot of people in this genre that pick and choose who's a co-op veteran, who's not. Um, they're cool with some. They're not cool with others. Um, yeah. Look, look, Joe, there are guys in the streets today that talk to rats. They just do. I, it's it's just how it is. I mean, I, I hate to say it. That's just how it is. Uh, Kitchen Concierge, who, who's a good guy, he comes in and says, it matters because what you portray through acting, you're supposed to be a stand-up guy. Yeah, but Kitchen Concierge, he's not a gangster. He's just an actor. Well, what he portrays, I mean, if, if for instance, let's say – um, an actor plays a rapist. He's not a rapist. He's just an actor. If an actor, like we had a Joe Ganascoli on the show, he played Vito Spadafore. He's not gay. He just played a role. Like, I, I think some of this stuff's a little too literal here on here anymore. Oh, big time. Like, you know, you have to be something you're not. So I'm glad you were able to come on and, 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 discuss this because this is a hot button problem a lot of people are doing this um and look a lot of people and actors have changed their names so uh what's next for you joe what, what are you going to be doing next what, what do you got coming up i'm on a big project called avenue U. actually it's actually a, it's going to be i know it at the end of this year it's supposed to be coming out we're still filming i can't talk too much about it but uh that's going to be pretty big and there's also a couple things uh 
down the line that uh, are going to be pretty big, uh, dealing with some big names. You know, I, I could tell you, I could tell you this. So I am uh, looking at different projects that have um, a pretty big, uh, pretty big explosion at the end of it. If, I, if that makes sense to you. you oh know? really? Oh yeah. Well, Avenue U, that's Lilo Brancato's in that, right? Yes, he is. Hmm. That's yes, going to be interesting. I, I've seen that. It looks pretty cool. Uh, what do you say to the people that say, I've heard a lot of people on here say, uh, he's not even Italian. He doesn't even, he's not even from New York. He's actually. Let me, let, me tell, let me tell them something. You can't get more Italian than me. Okay. I speak the language. I speak the dialect. All right. Speak Neapolitan, right? What's that? You speak Neapolitan, right? I speak Neapolitan, yes. Just give us something. Wait, wait. Okay. But the gender, but not that you can assume Italian. If you don't understand that, do you understand that? Do you understand that? Do you understand that? A few people in here do. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, listen, uh, Yu, I really appreciate you coming on. Um, thank you for clearing this up. Uh, and I'm actually uh, getting a text right now uh, from somebody in here. Uh, a pal of yours just contacted me, is in the chat right now. Uh, let's just say his name is Little Something. Um, okay. you made it kicked up a little dust here, Joe, Joe, uh, big Joe Gambino. Um, maybe we'll have to get you both on. Hey, uh, guy that just texted me. Do you want to come on right now? You're welcome to, do you want him to come on? Uh, Joe, I don't remember who you're talking about, but yeah, yeah just, come on, bring him on. well, let's just say you talked about him about five minutes ago. Uh, guy that just oh, texted a, little, me. a little, a little snuff. He's on here. Yeah, uh, supposedly. Yeah. 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 Bring him on. All right, it, uh, Perry. If you want to jump on uh, for a few, you're welcome to it. If not, all good. Uh, you might be busy, but um, okay, Joe. I think you've cleared it up. We'll give him one minute. See if he wants to jump on. What is Avenue U, real quick? It's it's a film, right? Or it's a film, yes. Okay. Who else is in that? You have, can you say or no? I, I at the moment no. Okay. Well, we know Lilo's in it. Um, yes. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, all right, uh, Joe. Listen, maybe we'll set this up in the future. We'll get you and Snuff on. Um, I think oh, that would be interesting. Yeah, you've made it clear. Uh, you have no beef here. Um, you're just trying to uh, be an actor, and uh, that's that, right? That's what it comes out. That's at the end of the day, my friend. That's what it all is. I'm, so I'm here to entertain. Not that. Uh, nothing more. And you're not in the mafia. No, I'm not in the mafia. Actually, the mafia doesn't exist. Uh, you're one of those folks. Well, actually, it does exist. Hundreds of years have proven that. It, it, it does. Uh, uh, no, but not yet. <laughs> listen, Joe, I really appreciate you taking a few minutes to come home with me. Um, do you watch this sort of content? Do you like like mob history and stuff? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, 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 I know a few things. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Well, look, uh, appreciate you. Maybe we'll set something up with a little snuff. Maybe you can talk it out at some point. Sure. Um, I appreciate you coming on, brother. Anytime, anytime. I'm going to drop Joe's uh, Instagram and everything. Go follow him. You're killing it on TikTok, man. Keep it up, all right? I'm trying. All right. Thanks, Joe. All right. Have a good one. All right. See you, buddy. Bye-bye. Um, all right. So there he is, uh, Joe, uh, Big Joe Gambino. Really nice guy. I'm glad he was able to come on and uh, kind of hash some things out. Look, I think he definitely regrets what he did. Um, Perry... If you want to jump on now, you're welcome to. Uh, you know, I, I didn't want to kind of put Perry on the spot there. Um, I see Ray Wags is in the chat. Shout out to Ray Wag, my man. Uh, he says, Gluehead, go on. Uh, yeah, Gluehead, come on, uh, Gluehead. Uh, we'll, we'll see if he wants to jump on for a couple of minutes. If not, it's all good. Um, we have a lot of people in here right now. Shout out to everybody in here, 952 people. Shout out to all of you. I'm going to hang on and we're going to talk a little bit. If you have any questions for me, you're welcome to drop them now. Uh, if you'd like to support us, please hit that super chat icon uh, bottom right. Uh, you can uh, sh uh, sh throw us a little uh, donation or two. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. I want to highlight one of them. It's our friend Mike DeBella, $10. Thank you, Mike DeBella, my man. Mike DeBella is a good man. He really is. I love Mike DeBella. Always showing love to us here. And uh, always, uh, always keeping us uh, fresh. Um, thank you, living the lie. Yeah, look, I thought they were a little out of line going after Joe. Um, I can understand, you know, he has the persona of, you know, he's a gangster, or he's playing a gangster, so he has to hold the, you know, oaths that gangsters have. As I said, though, uh, it, 
a character plays a gay role, he's not gay, right? Uh, when actors kiss on camera, they're not actually with each other, right? Um, it's, it's, I think, just a little, goes a little too far. Uh, Pat Travellino says, what are my thoughts on Mikey Scarza's show today? Um, I have not, uh, I didn't see it today, so I can't, I can't really answer that. Um, I have to check that out, though. Um, Moses confront him, so. Uh, well, listen, um, I'm, I'm trying to get him on, but uh, I don't know if he's uh, available to come on right now. Uh, Nikki Scarf says, I like that guy. Yeah, yeah, he's cool. He's cool. Dikembe Mutombo is here. Wow. Awesome. I love you, Dikembe. Big fan. You're a great defender. Uh, shout out to you. Baby girl, my, my love's in here. Shout out to baby girl. I love me some baby girl. Uh, I'm glad you're here, babe. Thanks for watching. Thank you for supporting us. Um, Brooklyn's here. What's up, Brooklyn? Buick says, we want snuff. We want snuff. Yeah. He's welcome to it. Uh, if there was a movie about Skinny, Joe Peppy could play Angelo. Uh, Angelo Lutz? Yeah, he, he, he could, actually. Uh, maybe Ron Previty. Maybe <laughs> Ron Previty. Uh, ML says, good show. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. Uh, 880 people in here. We're not going anywhere. So feel free to drop any questions that you have for me in the chat. Uh, by the way, do me a favor. Go check out our latest episode. It is on uh, Jerome Asaro. Uh, go check that out right now. He is the son of Vinny Asaro. Uh, great show. I really enjoyed doing it. Also, make sure you check out our sit-down cigar, available now from Pravada Cigar Club. The link is in the description of this video. There's no better thing than a late-night stick on the back of your porch or uh, patio. Uh, all right. Let's go through some comments here. A lot of comments. Uh, James Kahn was an Italian but played one. Exactly. George Raft, I don't believe he was Italian. Um, Tony Edwards, all bullshit aside, you do a good job, Jeff. Thanks for the content. No problem, bro. No, no problem. Um, I actually like Joe Gambino. I think he's a nice guy. I enjoy talking to him. I would have kept him on here if he wanted to stay. Uh, Enrico Conti says, get in here, Joe Snuff. Uh, well, listen, I don't think he's going to join, but he's welcome to it. Uh, here's the link, uh, Perry, if you want to join. Uh, I'll drop it right now. Um, Ray Wags, you're in here. If you want to join, you're welcome to it as well. You don't have to come on camera. I know you don't like that. Fake wannabe Guido, the worst kind. Why is he calling an Albanian? Jeff, a brother. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, Victor. Wait, Victor, who's a fake wannabe Guido? He, he literally spoke Italian to you. Um, some of you folks, uh, we can never make happy. Uh, Snuff is in recovery. He's a good man. Uh, yes, he is. And for anyone that doesn't know, I've known Joe Snuff for years. I didn't just meet him because of YouTube or, or because he's come into content. I've known Joe Snuff. I knew Joe Snuff when he wasn't re in recovery. You know, I remember him and I used to gamble together. I've known him for years. Um, I lived in that neighborhood for years. I know his sister, right? I, I, I know him. Um, and he's a guy who is doing his job, right? And I've said before, and I'll say this again. When you make money doing this, you've made it, no matter what you do. People knock Lee Cole. Okay? I've heard a lot of people knock Lee Cole over the years. Lee Cole makes money on the internet, something very few people can do. You know, if you can make money on here, you've won. You know, and, and that's, for me, where when there's a lot of people saying, oh, you're an asshole, you're this or you're that, um, like this guy, camping with Carter, little snuff is a yes, man. He's a host. He he's not the main squeeze. We all know that. I don't think you're so, camping with Carter. What do you expect him to do? What do you want him to say no to everything? He's the host. He's not the main event. Batch Elder Street, thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Uh, if anybody would like to support the channel, feel free to hit that super chat icon. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, it's always um, it's always welcome. Uh, thank you to Mike DeBella for doing that. Uh, 875 people here. Um, thank you for supporting me tonight. I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, it's always welcome. Uh, let's have some fun in here tonight, guys. What, what, do, what do we want to get into? Skinny and Snuff are made for each other. Great combo, but Angelo Lutz is my favorite. Uh, Angelo's a good man. Everybody go check out the Kitchen Consigliere. It is in Collingswood, New Jersey. Uh, they've got very good food there. Uh, and shout out to our friend Kim Riggy, who works there. She's a good woman. Uh, she's a great South Philly a treasure, a Kim Riggy. 
a good people. Um, shout out to everybody at Kitchen Consigliere. Um, all right. Uh, Larry Blazarino says, is Jeff Canarsi on the lamb? I I'm not sure. I haven't seen him. I, I don't I don't know. Uh, great show as usual. Thank you, my man. My man, BX. Shout out to you, BX. Uh, what is uh, Colorado's record going to be? I have no idea. I haven't looked into it yet. Um, South Philly's in the house. It's not going to be great. I know that. South Philly in the house. What up, Brian Matia? Where in South Philly, my man? Living the lie says I'm half Italian. I'm gangster over lasagna and garlic bread. Uh, yeah, so much. So, so, so am I. Is Jerome Massaro still a captain? Uh, as, as far as the government, yes. That's what they said. Um, hey, Tony Silo. Hey, Tony, you want to come on, Tony Silo? You're welcome to jump on for a couple of minutes, DV boy. Um, what's happening? How's everything going? Um, after Joey Molino bombed on Jeff Canarsi, he's been MIA. Yes, he has. Listen, if I were him and I'm just being real, I would have rode that. You know, why disappear? I would have, I, I would have rode it. The guy is mad at you anyway. Uh, he's not going to be any less mad at you if you disappear. Um, it's me says, hi, Jeff, you're killing it. What's up? It's me. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. Nicholas Cage changed his name. Listen, guys, a lot of actors have changed their names. Like, seriously. Like, many. Like, I think a lot of them do, actually. Like, it's not, you know. Like, Robert De Niro's name is Robert De Niro. But, like, like Burt Young. His name wasn't really Burt Young. Right? Like, a, a lot of actors have changed their names. It's a normal thing. Enrico Conti says, Hutchison and Catherine for life. A shout out to uh, Enrico. That's South Philly, very much in South Philly. Uh, what does Little Snuff mean? Um, what does Little Snuff mean? Uh, it's his nickname. Joe Hernandez says, Jeff, you're probably going to be on the next Merlino show. Uh, I don't think. I, I, I don't see why. Um, love how you're building up your live attendance or growing. You deserve it. Best in the business. Thank you, Rich M. Yes, we have 898 people in here right now. Shout out to all of you. I appreciate it. Uh, by the way, guys, I have a big announcement to make. Uh, next week, next week, I believe it's going to be a next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, Junior Pagan will be returning to the channel. Junior Pagan will be returning to the channel. Uh, we had Junior on. Uh, it was the first of its kind. No one's ever spoken to Junior. Um, he's been away for a while, but we're going to get Junior on. And guess what? It's going to be live. Yes, you heard that right. Junior is going to be on with me live, and we are going to be answering your questions. So make sure you get them going. It's not going to be tonight. It's not going to be tomorrow. It's going to be next week. Uh, so make sure you look out for that. A lot of people have asked me if Junior Pagan is going to be back. And thinking about it, I decided to bring Junior back on the show. Um, so that'll be interesting. I'm also working on – bringing another person out of the shadows. Um, we spoke yesterday. Uh, we've spoken the last week or so. I'm trying to coax him into coming on. Uh, no one has spoken to this dude. Um, he is from one of the five crime families, and he was a made member of the mafia. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. I'm the basis. Your content gets me through my workday driving trucks. Well, I'm happy to hear that, my friend. Uh, you are the real hero here, not me. Uh, he could play big pun. Are you talking about big joke? Yeah, he could. He could actually. He's definitely a big guy. We all know that. Um, Bachelor she says, Jeff, is it true that you can get made now if your girlfriend is Italian? As long as you take her last name. I have no idea. I, I don't believe so, though. No. Standing on business with Eric Foss says, You have the best live hands down. My man. Thank you, Eric Foss. Uh, everybody check out Eric Foss. Uh, he was on our show before. By the way, I saw Eric Foss was on uh, with Chad Marks. A shout out to him. Uh, Chad is a friend of the show. He's a longtime friend of the show. And we're big fans of his. Uh, glad to hear uh, that union was made. Uh, Nate is always getting that money, says ML. Well, I'm trying to, ML. Uh, we haven't made much tonight, but it's not all about that. We welcome anybody regardless. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. Prem Preek says, Little Snuff is cool. Uh, I agree. I've known him for many years. Uh, Nate Dog, what's up? Anthony Caserta says, Cam with Carter, you know nothing. He grew up around Joey. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Uh, oh, wow. Look at this. Abu 
<laughs> Abu Musab Al Castellini, five dollars. <laughs> That's a great fucking name, man. Uh, he says, "Great show, Big Gambino. Big Joe Gambino has the it factor, people. That's what it comes down to. Joe Gambino has the it factor. That's what it comes down to." Um, all right. Uh, I will drop the link. I'm not going to accept everybody, but if I find you interesting, I will bring you on. Uh, baby girl, why don't you join? I'd love to talk to you tonight. Um, if you're around, um, Ray Wags, who wants snuff? We do, but he doesn't want to come on, bro. Uh, Wags, he doesn't want to come on. Um, so there's not much I can do here. Um, I can, uh, I can coax him into coming on. Uh, but again, if he doesn't want to, I can't make him. Um, but you can. Why don't you come on? Uh, Sydney, Australia. Shout out to Sydney. G Stone. What's going on, G Stone? Um, all right. Uh, Jeff, do you think the FBI watches these shows? Absolutely. 100%. Uh, Tim M says, great food at his joint. Nice older ladies that work there. Uh, great food at his joint. Who? What are you talking about? Um, exactly. Who are you talking about? Yeah. What do you, what do you, uh, who are you talking about there, bro? A uh, shout out to New Orleans, the, one of the best places in the world. Uh, Jeff, were you ever in a fight on the street? Did you ever catch a beat down? Uh, yes. I was jumped, uh, in South Philadelphia on 29th and Dickinson. Um, uh, yeah, absolutely. hundred percent. I don't know why that's relevant to this discussion or germane to it, but uh, there we are. Uh, DK Cool says, I'm happy to be a part of the live chat. Well, I'm happy you're here. Thank you. Jeff is a straight-up guy. That's why I like his channel. Appreciate that, Marco. Appreciate that. Brooklyn uh, says, Jeff, your lives are fire. Great job. You just keep getting better. Well, Brooklyn, I appreciate you. Uh, you know I'm a big fan of yours as well. Uh, thank you for showing love to me, babe. I really appreciate it. Um, how many times have you been threatened due to this channel? Uh, more than I know, more than I know, but I never cave. I never cave in, bro. Never cave. Um, where's the best massage parlor? Uh, I don't know. I don't go to them. Anthony Cassara says, Wags, make snuff get on here real quick. Let me, let me go. Oh, look who it is. Here he is. Hey, what's up? What up? What happened? I, I thought I, you wanted to jump on. Uh, no, I, I mean, I heard the whole world's asking for me. Well, yeah, because um, what do you make of Joe Gambino's comments? Well, first off, he means nothing to me. He just wants to talk bad about me. I never met him. I don't care to meet him. I don't care about him. He means nothing to me in my life. Um, what he did was wrong. And I said, I, I didn't even say anything, but all I know is that he now he wants to come at me like everybody else does on the Internet. I'm the most popular person right now. Everybody hates me, and I love it. It's great. Well, you're turning into me is what you're turning into. Everybody hates I, me. I mean, it's totally crazy. And I heard a couple people say I'm a yes. I'm not a yes man. No, if I don't like I'm, you, I don't like you. I don't, I don't have to talk to you. You're the you're the you're the host. You're not correct. You know you know you're not the main event. I'm, the, bro. If if any of us host co-hosted with someone to that stature, if you co-hosted with Mike Tyson, you're not the yes. You're not the man. He is. Of you're course. Like, you know, we're, we're we have a good podcast. We do. We do. We expose the rats. And if people don't like it, they don't like it. I mean, that's just what it comes down to. We're more in the sports content. Like we just did Pete Rose. Who else on here did Pete Rose? Nobody. No. Who else did Ric Flair? Nobody. Bernard, so that's Hopkins. What, Bernard Hopkins, Danny Garcia. I think our podcast is top notch. We don't need to do anything else. And the people that just want to throw my name in there and you know, the threats and this, that, the other. I love it. Just keep doing it because I just keep going viral. So it's great. What do you make of the nickname that you've been given recently? What? Gluehead? Gluehead, yeah. Well, I think people are jealous of my hair. That's what I think oh, it is. They're jealous of mine, too. Yeah, yeah, I mean, listen, I got a good haircut. I got, a, you know, I got nice hair. So it is what they can keep saying it. I got two questions before you go. First of all, you're not driving, are you? No, no, no. I'm not driving. Uh, actually, I have two other questions. Uh, number one, how long have I known you? Uh, over 15 years. Pretty long time. Yeah, right? yeah, absolutely. And I'm very happy for you. I, I, I seriously, anytime someone, as I said, when you can make money on the internet, you've arrived, right? Absolutely, yeah. There's a lot to be proud of. 
Um, you have a big show coming out this week, I hear. You don't have yeah. to tell us what it is. I think I know what it is, and let you just well, say. You just got to you just got to tune in to Patreon. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Still on YouTube, Apple, and Spotify. But for the full episode, get on over to Patreon. You're not going to want to miss this. How, why did you come on? Did Ray Wags make you, or what? no? Well, first off, I think it's good content when anybody's talking about you, no matter what it is. So agreed. Agreed. Dave Dave Portner called me a fucking idiot one time. I got like 600 followers. Yeah, so it is what it is. It's not about nobody can make me do anything. You know, we all work as a team. It's a group effort. It's a team effort. Nobody can take us away from each other. That's we're one big family, and we just do whatever we can. That's really what it comes down to. Does Snuff sleep with a do rag? No, I don't sleep with a do rag on. No, but here's my hair without yelling it. All right. Oh wow. There you go. Uh, that was the right. kitchen concierge, by the way. Uh, That's my buddy right there. I love him. Yes. Love you, Ange. Thank you for coming on, Perry. You got it. Don't forget, Patreon this Thursday. You're not going to want to miss it. You're not going to want to miss it. Everybody go check it out. We'll drop the link. Thank you, Perry. Appreciate you got it. it. Um, 910 people in here. You got your wish. Joe Perry joined the show. Um, he doesn't care. And, and listen, I think this is the growing sentiment between a lot of us on here. I, I think the thought is that when you come in here and you say, hey, asshole, your hair looks like a fucking stupid. You, why don't you get a new fucking barber, dickhead? It's like, bro, I'm going to get off here and I'm going to go take a shower and lay down and watch something on TV. Like, I'm not going to lose sleep tonight. Um, you got to have a strong, um, a strong will, right? You're going to hear a lot of shit on here. Uh, but, hey, as he said, if you're watching right now and you hate me, still counts the same, right? You know, it's it's not going to be any different for me. It's still going to be a view. It's still going to count. And it all makes it fun, right? Would it be fun if everybody on here disagree with everybody? You know, no, it would suck. Who would want that? Get Gotti Jr. Well, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Um. What happened to Paul Costano's nephew? Uh, I think he got the picture and got got lost. Uh, see, you made it happen, Ray Wags. Good man right there. See, look what he's doing for the show. He makes it better and better. Thank you, Ray. I appreciate that. Um, big wishes for Big Gambino. Thanks, Jeff, for your continued working hard. Looking forward to a visit with Junior. Yes, yes, that'll be interesting. Absolutely. Um, Christopher D says, I got jumped in. My head looked like an elephant. LOL. What do you mean you got jumped in? To what? Uh, I have no issues with Jeff. Junior is a POS. Uh, wait, wait, what the hell are we talking about here? What does Junior Gotti have to do with me? I'm super confused. Andres Morelos is quick to delete comments here. I have not deleted one comment on here. In fact, I don't even know how to delete comments on a live stream, moron. Uh, we're seeing your stupid fucking comment, though, unfortunately. Too bad someone didn't delete your comment. That said, no one can. I don't have moderators, Andres. I'm just maybe you just haven't said anything really interesting. Maybe that's what your issue is. So maybe your comments should be more exciting, and maybe we'll notice them. And look, we did notice you. There you go. Um, nobody's uh, nobody's blocked your comments, dude. Relax. Um, thank you, Christopher D. I appreciate that. Um, I don't trust any man who's never been beaten up in a fight. Never understood why people hesitate to admit they lost fights. By the way, I lost a fight in front of seventy thousand people that bought the pay per view. Throw in many that were there watching it. The whole fucking place hated me. Um, but, hey, we made money. We had fun. It was great. I have no shame. That's one thing you can say about Nate Do. He doesn't have shame. You're not going to fucking bother him. He comes on here and laughs about a lot of this shit. Guys, honestly, did I look, honestly, did I look like I spent a lot of time training on fighting? Of course not. But I did it. We had a good time. It was great. You can't have any shame in this world. A Thomas Pepino says, Snuff is a good boy. Um, yeah, you must be older, I'm guessing, Tom Pepino. A 922 people in here. Shout out to all of you. Shout out to you for watching. We're killing this game right now. We're killing the live stream game. What happens when I go live? People come and people conquer, baby. What's up? 922 people in here. Shout out to all of you. Hit that like button right now. We're riding tonight. We're riding tonight. Uh, everybody shout out, shout out, shout out. 
Uh, where's everybody at in the comment section? Um, Big Joe Gambino says, yeah, okay, LOL. I don't know if that's the real Big Joe, but um, I'm just going to say one thing about Lil Snuff. He didn't join when Big Joe was on. Let's just be honest. No, I'm just going to say I don't know that he knew about it, but it's all good. Um, Snuff is not lit. Snuff doesn't do any substances. He's sober. Uh, Thomas Pino says Snuff for president 2024. Um, all right. I don't know if he's running, but um, fair enough. Uh, Jimmy Light, my man. What's going on, Jimmy Light? How you doing, bro? Um, appreciate uh, you showing in, uh, showing some love as always. Uh, I think I missed some super chats. I did. Uh, Billy, five bo- $5 says, uh, is that my friend? Little Joe Perry from the saloon, LMAO, ha, 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 ha. Uh, well, yeah, it was him. Uh, it was him. Uh, Dikembe says sexers and sex. Yeah, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. Snuff is hot shit, great sense of humor. He's got a real sense of humor. Um, DL, don't say stuff like that. Why would he worry about it? Crazy white boy, my man. Shout out to Baltimore City. Burt Bodymore Murderland. Love Baltimore. Baltimore. Kane's Cat says is his nickname Little Dick. Uh, oh, that was funny. Kane's Cat. How long did it take for you to come up with that one? That was funny, bro. Wow. Comedy Central's in your future, bro. Um, Danny Garcia just got into a Meek Mills camp. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. Um, this is actually a funny comment. This is very funny. Thank you, Angelo Lux. That's a, that, that was a funny comment. I had to tell him about that. that was funny. Uh, Snuff Spoggies is dope. Wish more was on YouTube. Well, listen, dirty. He, here's what I'm going to say, guys. And I want to make this clear because we have a lot of people here. We have almost 925 people here right now. I'm just going to tell you, I have an idea of what's coming on the Patreon for Joey this week. And listen, they don't pay me. I don't. I don't work for those guys. I do what I want. Um, but I'm going to drop the link because if you're going to buy, I think now would be the time to do it. Um, there's two Patreons that I have. There are two. It's Mikey Scars and RJ and the Joey and Snuff Show. Those are the only two podcasts that I have on Patreon because they're both elite shows. But I have heard. And not for nothing. They put some great... They did a show a couple of weeks ago with a guy called Ralphie Head. It was fucking awesome. Like, it was so fucking good. I can listen to that guy talk for hours. So go check out their Patreon. I'm telling you. I'm a patron. And I got to tell you, I think this one's going to be worth it. Damien DeTore says the skinny costs too much. It's like 15 bucks, bro. That's nothing. Joe Gambino says, Snuff, you're so full of shit. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. It's, you know, God forbid we could have gotten them on the same fucking call. Jesus Christ. Um, That sucks, man. Joe, Joe Gambino seems pissed off here. Um, He definitely did seem a lot more annoyed with Snuff than anybody. Uh, I definitely think there's some bad blood there. Um, What is he full of shit about, Joe? Uh. Like the fact that what what is he full of shit about? That he doesn't know you? Little stuff's cool, but what is this problem with Big Joe? I get Joey having a beef with him, but not Snuff. Um, yeah, I, I get it. I think I think Snuff's just standing up for for Joey. He's he's supporting Joey. Uh Joe's trying to dress like Jeff Nadeau. Uh which show are you talking about? Uh, ANS says, just subscribe and going to recommend this to others, Jeff. I was going to ask what your sportsbook channel is. Love the work. Well, I'm actually not doing anything right now with sports. Um, back when football starts, we will, but not right now. Thank you for watching, ANS. And when I do, I'll let you know, okay, bro? Uh, or I don't know if you're a male or female. My apologies, but I'll let you know. Um, but yeah, we don't, I'm not doing anything right now. I'm just having fun with, with, with NBA and stuff. Nothing crazy. Vinny from Philly says, great show. Lots of love from Ethan Dickinson. Ethan Dickinson, good, good area. Um, shout out to 8th Street. Um, look, I used to hang up 9th Street, 10th Street, 11th Street, 12th Street, 13th Street, 7th Street, Percy Street, 9th Street, all everywhere. Shout out to Vinny from Philly. Uh, Vinny, uh, South Philadelphia is a different place now, isn't it? 
Uh, Jeff doesn't delete comments. No, I don't. I, I don't know what the fuck this guy's talking about, deleting comments. Uh, 892 people in here, and we are holding tough. If you have a question for me, please drop a comment or question right now. I'd love to answer it. Dirty Purdy says, Snuff is an awesome personality. Wish those guys nothing but the best. Um, I agree. Uh, living the life. Jeff's cracking me up. Thank you, my friend. Uh, the heels get more views than the baby faces. Um, agreed. And I'm definitely not a baby face. We know that. Um, and by the way, I saw Baby Girl was talking about my haircut. She says I got the nice fade. Yes, I do. Uh, find a white guy that could pull this off. Not many. Tommy from Power. That's about it. The Professor. That's about it. But hey, it's all about that swag, baby. Capital S. Uh, Jeff, by the looks of uh, the numbers, over 800 people missed a good one. Looking forward to watching from the beginning. Thank you, Dex. Dex Dallas. Appreciate that. Edinburgh Castle Rocks. Don't forget, blessings from Scotland. Thank you, Scotland. Shout out to Glasgow and Edinburgh. Shout out to everybody in Scotland and the United Kingdom. I know we have many of them in here right now. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Dave the Hammer says, Fat Boy Gambino blocked me on the gram after I asked him, when was the last time he stood up to take a piss? Wow. His mother then attacked me. I think it's time to move out of her basement. Well, listen, Dave, that's a fucking dickhead comment to make, dude. Uh, and not for nothing, if it were me, I'd have blocked your fucking ass too. First of all, why do you have to be such a dickhead, Dave? Listen, Dave, here's what I'm going to ask. Why don't you jump on the show right now? Maybe we can see what you look like, Dave. You got a lot of shit to say for someone who is behind a fake fucking name and no fucking picture. Why do you be such an asshole, Dave? I mean, it's not that serious, bro. Joanne O says, love you, Snuff. Shout out to Joanne. How do you know little Snuff? Uh, I used to live in that neighborhood, uh, Matt C. I lived up on uh, Watch Street, and I met Joe through. I can't remember who I met Joe through. I don't even remember, bro, at this point. Um, one of our uh, mutual friends, I forget who it was. Uh, am I Italian? No. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. That's a question I answer seemingly every fucking time we do a show anthony thank you my friend rob d says you let people tell their story and let the public decide exactly rob d that's what we do here youtube does delete comments i've had it happen and it's been suspended uh yeah i don't know i'm not deleting anything um bobby beauty says who's here from jb show a couple of people are i'll be on jb tomorrow uh any idea what happened to mooney dash cam um no i haven't i actually have to reach out to him i've been meaning to contact him uh, on Instagram, see what he's got going on, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I guess you just got sick and tired of doing doing a show. Hit the like button, yes, please. Can I ever get Lorenzo Manito on for an interview? Uh, I have probably a better chance of going to Pluto than that happening. Um, Anthony Caserta says, I found out a lot of stuff about my pop-up thanks to you. Yes, I, I got you some information. I hope it worked for you. Uh, Bella Knows. What's up, Bella Knows? Um, your cousin Vinny says Stacks probably has nine live. Nine? That's a, a lot. Maybe four. Uh, Mike Crowley, good show. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, this has been a great show, and I'm going to keep going. Joe Gambino says, yeah, it's me. Oh, I know it's you. Thank you for being on, Joe. Uh, I wish we could have got you guys both on uh, the same show. Over 900 plus in here. Everybody take a second. Hit the like button. Jeff deserves it. Yes, I have to say myself, I do think we deserve it, Eduardo. Uh, thank you so much, my man. Um, Jeff, I love how you deal with the scumbag trolls. Yes, Bob Miller. I only wish we had one or two more. Uh, standing on business with Eric Foss as you handle the trolls better than anyone. Thank you, Eric Foss. I have a lot of experience with him. Uh, Laura Connor says, hello from Canada. Shout out to Canada. I love Canada. Shout out to Canada. Oh, Canada. My home and gracious land. Yes, yeah, shout out to Canada. Uh, Joe Gambino and Joey Diaz would be great in a skit. Yeah, I actually agree with that. I actually agree with that. Um, yeah, Lorenzo Menino is not coming on this show. Please stop asking. He's not coming on here. What are we talking about here? Stop it. We, 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 one individual that's on here now has a lot, a lot of people to think a lot of things going to happen. Not going to happen. Great show as always. Keep up the great work, Jeff. Thank you, Charles Volpe. I appreciate that, my man. Shout out to you. Philly the Chicken Man test is here. Wow, look at that. Jeff, love the energy. Get a Sopranos trivia for you. What park and house was Matthew Bevilacqua killed in? Uh, the George Washington Slept Hair House at uh, 
some park. I forget. I forget what the park was, but I, I it was the the George Washington slept here house. Um, if I thought about it for a while, I'm trying to go rapid fire. If I thought about it for a while, I could tell you. Uh, is Mooney Dashcam alive? Question mark. I hope. I hope. God forbid. Um, Joseph Sharp says Joey ripped Joey Gambino a good one in that live they did. Well, yeah, but he came on um, and uh, talked everything out. So um, you got to give him respect there. Uh, you didn't get your ass beat. No, I know I didn't. I know. Um, hey, Marco, you're going to be blocked for that comment, motherfucker. What a fucking low life you are, dude. Seriously. You got a real fucking problem on your hands, dude. What a sick fuck. I'm not even putting that on the screen, you low life. You're, you will be blocked for that, though. Uh, Dex Dallas, $2. Thank you, my friend. Mike DeBella, 10 bucks. My man, Mike DeBella. I appreciate you, bro. Uh, Big Ange passed away a few years ago. Exactly. And he knows that. He's just being a p complete prick. Um, what a loser. What a loser comment to make. Why are Molino and Gambino beefing? Uh, watch the show without watching the show. Uh, go back and watch it, man. We're not going to rehash it. Um, is that a Sopranos painting? Uh, yes, it is. Well, look at this. Wow. Jimmy Light. Jimmy Light, $200. Thank you, Jimmy Light. My man, this is what keeps me up. I love it. I love all. This is the fun. These are the funnest lives. When we get so many people in here, we're just fucking rapping. There's very few assholes in here. We're just enjoying life and having fun on a Sunday night sit down with Nate Do. Shout out to Jimmy Light. Says you're murdering the game. Keep having fun. Two C notes for the Patron. Next week, bro. My man, Jimmy Light. Yo, Jimmy Light is that dude, yo. I love Jimmy Light. I love all of you. Thank you for being here. This is so fun. I love this kind of stuff. Jimmy Lott, I can't thank you enough. Someday, please, you email me and I can take you to dinner. Please. I know it will never repay, but I would love to. Uh, that Ralphie Head show was top shelf. Yes, it was. I agree. Any shot on getting Mikey Scars, Gene, Dominic, Ruggiano? You, you and RJ should moderate. That would be epic. I don't think that's impossible. I don't think that's impossible. In fact, all of those individuals, I believe, are cool with each other. So I don't think that would be crazy. Uh, RJ, are you watching right now? Maybe that's an idea. Uh, I think we can make it happen. It's kind of like a listen. We're breaking. We're breaking rules and taking names. So why not? Why not? Why not? You're on minds of many. Great job, Jeff. Love. Always a great show. Thank you, nursing. I appreciate that nursing reintegration. Eight hundred eighty-five people in here. Shout out to you. Heavy coming in hot and heavy tonight. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Um, I'll definitely look into getting snuffs. I know it's good. Just don't want to spend a bunch of channels. Well, listen, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. Kenneth Bubster. What's up, Kenneth? What's going on? Thank you, my man. Thank you, my man. Uh, live in the light. Cut it out with this stupid stuff, bro. Seriously. Uh, baby girl says Jeff dresses to fly. Uh, you would know, babe. You would know. Uh, shout out to her. Shout out to, uh, my girl, baby girl in here. She would know. She loves the way I dress. She loves my style. Uh, talk your shit, Joe. Um, which Joe are you talking about? We have so many Joes. Joe Gambino, Joe Perry, Joe Merlino. We got so many Joes in here. Who, who's the Joe we're talking about? Uh, Smokey Pete, listen, bro. I think it's time that you just rewind, bro. He, he, he came on and talked about it. Um, Joe Gambino says, no, that he thinks he's popular. Where in his own world coming after me because of my following? Uh, okay, so Joe Gambino is saying that Joe Snuff is coming at him because of his following. Well, listen, I don't know if that's true or not. Um, obviously, we'd have to ask him about that. Uh, I think he's just kind of uh, defending his pal. That's what I think. Um, am I from Philly? I used to live in Philly. Uh, by their logic, I'm assuming Joey and Snuff wouldn't collaborate with Mike Tyson based on Mike Tyson's friendship with Frenzy. Seems kind of silly. And remember, they did interview, he did interview with Vladimir TV, who's interviewed more rats than anybody. Um, but yeah, listen, I, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I didn't miss it. I was just behind in the chat. Um, good for you. Good for you. Uh, why don't both sides stop acting like little schoolgirls going back and forth at each other grow up? Uh, Jason Diamond, because it's the internet and it's fun and it's interesting. That's why. 
Uh, don't tell people that are doing things successfully on the internet how to do things successfully on the internet. Um, people like it. I, I mean, that's just the point. Um, thank you, Lone Wolf. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. What's up, Batchelder? My man. Do I get my hair cut at Champs across from Cigar Bar? No, I don't. I don't go there, no. Uh, that's a barber school. That's a barber school. Um, would love to see a video about Skipper that was a capo in Newark back in the day. Uh, you got to be more specific. We've done shows on Robbie Caber. We've done shows on Martin Tassetta. We've done shows on um, all sorts of people from Jersey. So I'm not – you got to be more specific. Um, South Philly all day. What up, Mark Carlini, my man? By the way, guys, if you're new around here and you haven't done it yet, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button. Uh, Dave, why are you a dickhead? <laughs> I'm chasing time. Uh, Jeff just got a 200 and didn't even flinch. Uh, well, I was behind in the chat. I'm sorry. I was behind in the chat. Um, yeah, he's a good man. I love uh, I love uh, Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy, he's a good dude. Uh, Jimmy Light. Bob's Beauties, Bobby Beauty says, I live in Willis, Texas. Shout out to Willis, Texas in the building. Um, yeah, Dave, why don't you come on, Dave? You have a lot of shit to say, Dave. Uh, you, you know, you're you're talking about a lot about people that are successful. Um, Drazen Petrovic had an epic fade and was a baller. Yes, he was. Possibly the greatest shooter ever. Possibly. I know a lot of people don't want to admit that, but he was. Um, Jeff, why do you and Matt McChesney have beef or is it just for show? I don't have any beef. I mean, he, he's just a simp when it comes to Colorado football. Um, get Jeff and Joe back on, get stuff and Joe back on. Come on, Perry. Uh, well, listen, we had them both on. They said what they had to say. And, uh, that's that. Thank you, B-Point. This is my first live, he says, not my last. Great content, solid discussion. Weed out them weak ones. They must work at the bank. Love from Boston. Thank you, B-Point. I appreciate that, my man. Thank you for showing love tonight, man. Joe Gambino is a street Neapolitan, always scheming, worse than a Sicilian. Oh, yeah, that awful. The, the worst actor in Gotti was the Paul character. So bad. Um, by the way, guys, I want to play a funny video tonight, uh, and I saw this on Big Joe Gambino's uh, page. I, I got to play you guys something. Th this fucking video is so fucking funny. Uh, you guys are going to get a kick out of this. Bear with me one second. Let me um, let me bring it on the screen here. Hang on. You guys got to see this. Shout out to this guy that put this video out. It's very funny. And Joe Gambino is actually in it. You guys got to see this. Funniest fucking video. Um, here we go. Hello, and welcome to this episode of Frankie's Cultural Observations. Today, we're going to be analyzing Americans who think they're Italian. Americans who think they're Italian have never been to Italy. They can't speak the mother tongue, but they're fluent in Gabagool and put on an accent when they talk about pasta. These Sicilian squares use their Italian heritage as an excuse to shout at people in public for no reason. All they need to say is, I get passionate, I'm Italian, clearing them of all responsibility as they continue to live in a pseudo-Italiano dream world just because they wear a chain necklace, refuse to shave their chest hair, and their last name ends with a vowel. Soprano, if you ask an American who thinks they're Italian what part of Italy their family's from, they'll give you a hyper-specific answer, yet be unable to point it out on a map. And then they'll deflect by saying, hey, forget about it. It turns out all it takes to fake Italiano is to be the loudest person in the room, refer to red sauce as gravy, and let everyone know when they're giving you agita. You're giving me agita. I'm not on another little bit. You're going to be in my coat with me. Move. The male strain of Americans who think they're Italian are both terrifying and tender at the same time. They can seem aggressive at first, they have incredibly rigid gender roles and like people to think there's a possibility that they're in the mob. But if they think you're a person who has familia from the boot, these made men will melt into slush puppies, inviting you over to Sunday dinner that their mama made and kiss you on the cheek every time they see you. Here's a demonstration. Uh, can you kiss me? 
Sure. And the other side. Thanks. Americans who think they're Italian will let you know that they're Italian after five seconds of meeting them. But you could already tell because they own a mansion while working in waste management, pay for goods and services using jewelry, and always seem to go to the dry cleaners at questionable hours of the morning. What? Excuse me? Mm -hmm. Americans who think think they're Italian are passionate about where they didn't come from. They think they're more Italian than the Italians because they're American, which means they have to be the best at everything, including Italy. So tell me about the mob wife aesthetic. So it's a trend that, oh, mob wife aesthetics coming back, wearing leopard, um, you know, the big hair. I don't get it. It never left. We always wear leopard. Uh, I don't. I don't see any leopard on you. You did not look close enough. Look at my sneakers. Oh. And I want to bring out another point. You could be a mob wife with this pink fur coat. Oh my God! Your English is really good. How long have you been learning for? <laughs> Americans who think they're Italian have no idea that they're white and from Long Island. To them, that's a spicy meatball as a concept. When the fresh mozzarella hits the back of their throat, it becomes easy to forget the only boat the last six generations of their family have ever been on is the Staten Island Ferry. Uh, como se dice uh, gabagool? Gabagool? What's that? Oh, you speak American. <laughs> Hello. I think that video is fucking funny, man. I like that kind of humor. I thought that was funny. Uh, Kiwi boy, what's up, Kiwi boy? Shout out to Argentina, man. That's great. Shout out to Argentina. South America's in the building. John Franks, ten bucks. Shout out from Peoria, Illinois. Road through on your way to the West Coast. Thank you for the consistent content. Thank you, John Franks, ten bucks. I appreciate that, my man. Um, you're always showing love. Pasta, what's up? Jeff crushes the trolls. Uh, absolutely. Baby girl is on you, homie. Yes, that's my girl. I love baby. Um, Joe Gambino versus Little Snuff face slap contest settle their beef. Uh, well, listen, um, I don't think we're going to get to that. Um, do I ship cigars to Boston? Yes, uh, well, the, the cigars are shipped anywhere. Uh, Danny Green, the link is in the comment or in the uh, description of this video. Uh, go click the link um, and get some cigars sent to you. Absolutely. Um, you can also email me and I can help you out. All right, a lot of fucking comments in here tonight. Oh, man. That's a good point. He definitely is the greatest mob actor. Yeah, that guy's very funny. I, that's a super funny video. Like, I saw that video. I thought it was so funny. Um. We need a phone interview of Freddie Gias from Florence. That would be numbers. Well, listen, I'll write him, see if he responds. Leopard. Yeah, yeah. I love how they speak like that. New animal, leopard. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, by the way, uh, let me um, let me throw something in a chat for you guys. Uh, everybody go uh, follow Joe Gambino on uh, Instagram. I'm going to drop his Instagram in the chat. I dropped it earlier, but I'm going to drop it now. Uh, go... Uh, Go go follow him. Uh, Jason Diamond says she has leopard underwear. Yes, for sure, for sure. Uh, was that guy in the Castellano hit? What's up with that hat? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who that guy is. Do I remember A and A Deli at Twelfth and Moore? No, I don't remember that. I live further down. I live down by Oregon Avenue, uh, but no, I don't remember A and A Deli at Twelfth and Moore. I'm I'm sorry, I don't. Are you gonna have Lewis Casman on? Uh, not sure. I he's been in my comments. I've noticed, but I I don't. I haven't spoke to him yet. No. Exactly, my basement. Exactly. What is the name of that video? Uh, it's on um, whose channel is this on? Uh, it was a guy. Fuck. I'll get it for you and let you know. Um, I don't know. It was on Joe Gambino's uh channel. It wasn't him that made it, but. Oh, it's on. Okay, this is the channel. It's called. Uh, what the fuck channel is this? Joe, what channel was that? That 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 was on. 
Can you direct us? I uh, I thought that was funny. He does look like Tony Saragusa, kind of. That that's actually a good point. That's actually a good point. What's up, Mark? Yeah, he has TikTok and other stuff. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap this thing up tonight. Uh, we had a great show tonight. Uh, a lot of good people in here, but I don't want to put these on and go on for too long. Um, I really appreciate everybody uh, showing some love tonight. Um, I appreciate all the people that joined me. Uh, we had uh, nearly 1,000 people in here at one point. We were solidly 850 and 900 the entire time. I had a bunch of donations tonight. I really appreciate it. Shout out to Mike DeBella. He threw a couple dollars down. Abu Masab Al Castellini uh, dropped something. Billy, Dex Dallas, John Franks, and obviously our boy Jimmy Light. I really appreciate everybody uh, for showing love. It means so much to me. Uh, Craig Tracy coming in late with a donation. My man, thank you always for your support, my friend. Hope all is well. $10 Canadian. Um, yes, and thank you to Joe Gambino for coming on. Thank you for Joe. Per thank you to Joe Perry for coming on. Uh, thank you to everybody that came on. It really means a lot to me. Uh, I think we made uh, at least some introductions today to some people, and uh, yeah, it was fun. So, thanks everybody for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you again soon. New video out Tuesday. Uh, we're also going to do a live on Wednesday night, and another video on Saturday too. So the contest dropping fast and furious. Uh, Joe, we'll have you on again for sure, hopefully, uh, maybe when uh, Avenue U comes out. Um, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Later.